Hey everyone, I'm Ultima456, you're the ultimates, and welcome to episode 134 of Let's Platinum Dark Souls 2, Scholar of the First Sin. Alright, so one thing I forgot to do was uh, buy stuff from Strahd before um, oh, the forlorn set, that guy that kept chasing us, the forlorn dude. Uh, yeah, I forgot to buy stuff. He has a few spells that we can't otherwise get. They are Flame Swath, or Swathe, however you pronounce it, and Affinity, which I think is the last one we need. For that yep okay so that's all the hexes done now uh oh there's an item here resplendent life and firebomb was resplendent life always there let's see i mean there's not really a way i can check but i have two of them right yeah resplendent life hmm i don't know if that was always there <laughs> Alright, anyway, um, there's an item I forgot, and ironically I was in the exact location. Um, where is it? Yeah, it's in Bright Cove, Tesseldora. There's an item I forgot to get, um, during the, the main game. Um, and it's a pyromancy, very good pyromancy that I could have done with, and actually now that I think about it, I realise wh why I was so confused about um, how many spells I had attuned to my character, because I was like, how do I have the space for all this, like, I seem to remember, you know, needing an extra space and all that, but, yep, just occurred to me when I looked up all the, the ones that I was missing. So, what I was supposed to do was, uh, once I got that Bright Cove cell door key or whatever, we'll find out what it's called here, Bright Stone key, once I got that, I was supposed to open this door in order to gain access to um, the semi-secret room and and find the spell. So now I'm going to do that. This is getting close. We're fine. Homer, it's really coming down. Can you check on the boys? They're fine. <laughs> Such a good scene. Alright, so in here we shall find the Goret Fireball. And also, there's going to be a whole bunch of these guys coming to attack us, I'm pretty sure. Black Knight, Ultra Great Sword, Great Fireball, and Fire Seed. I didn't see how many. So, pretty good chests, actually. Now I get to show off the Black Knight, Great Ultra Great Sword. Let me put it over here, actually. Uh, where is it? Black Knight Ultra Great... Oh, hang on. I think I've shown it off already. How did I get a second one? That's weird. Hiya! 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 Bang! Awesome. Okay, get rid of that. Uh, now, the hard part. Because... Um, I didn't do this at the beginning, and... Uh, and there was a reason, and it was because I didn't want to take an obscene amount of damage. Um, but now the problem is I have to do it, and I have a bloody crap ton of souls that I really don't want to lose. Um, I think I'll be okay, I just have to, have to play it smart. Alright, so, because we have a few items to collect in the Iron Keep. So let's go ahead and do that. Uh, let's get rid of this for now, and we're going to put the Flame Quartz Ring plus 3 on. Uh, we are also going to put that headpiece on that keeps us, like, wet. Drenching its wearer. And we're also going to use Flash Sweat. Uh, which is there. And that all combined should be able to keep us from taking too much fire damage. Yeah, that's pretty good. I don't know if that eliminates my flash sweat, so I'm going to quickly reapply it. Human effigy. Yeah, okay, basically take no damage. Now, this is the bit I'm worried about. Because I technically don't need to go for this item. But I will go for this item. And I will probably fail. And if I fail... I will be quite mad because I'm going to lose all of my 
Wait, now I'm confused as to whether I can make that jump. I think I can. Yeah, I think it's possible. Nope. <laughs> I think it is possible, but, um, wait. Uh, oh, no, no, it's not possible. I just realized. That's the way you get back. Silly me. <laughs> Humans are amazing. We can make the same mistake so many times and we'll still do it over and over and over. It doesn't matter how many times we make the same mistake. We will make the same mistake again. Uh, all right, so in order to give myself... Uh, you know what? Mm, actually, being hollow is kind of an advantage right now. Uh, yeah, let's stay hollow. It's going to reduce my health by a minuscule amount, but it will help momentarily. All right, so what you're supposed to do is flash sweat here. Jump down, walk down. Um, now this is the hard part. So do this, go like that. Luckily this doesn't do that much damage. Go like that, roll back. Right to the edge, there, roll back. Done. And when I said that's how you get back, I lied. You just use the aged feather. <laughs> well, I mean, obviously that is how you get back, but you can also do it, do it this way. What I just did there was totally not worth it for three bonfire aesthetics and whatever the hell the other thing was. I literally can't remember and I just saw it. Um, but I did it because I wanted to do it. Uh, now, let's go to this one. Let me just think for a second. Yeah, yeah, it's worthwhile to go to that one. There's nothing else in between. Excuse me for sniffing and all that kind of stuff. I'm all of a sudden gotten kind of sick. Which uh, is fair enough because I have not been sick for a very long time, so I knew it had to come at some point. Alright, so let's jump down here, kill this dude. Beautiful. Beautiful. Let's jump down here. May as well roll in the water. I think this mask actually really helped because <laughs> I'm taking like barely anything. There's a few more items to collect. Uh, two, if I'm not mistaken. I hate fighting this guy. Well, oh, these guys, I should say. Bye. <laughs> Iron Great Arrow. Okay, now for this one. Uh, oh, hello. Oh, crap. Oh, crap. Oh, crap. Yeah. No. Drink. Oh my god, man. How many of you guys are there? Just keep coming out of nowhere. Keep coming out of the metal work. <laughs> Alright. Let's run over here. Oh god. Oh god. That one's so much more powerful. Ah, I'm an idiot. I forgot to use flash sweat. Ah, my god. That's really bad. Because now I have a very large potential of losing um, 541,000 souls. I shouldn't, but I might. Hmm. No, I think I'll be fine, actually. So, let's flash sweat immediately. Now, I could kill that guy, but that guy's going to alert all the other guys. Including this one. Beautiful. Run. Don't think I can jump over it. I did, and that is awesome. <laughs> Hello, door. That was very odd. Okay, so I've flash sweated up. All I care about is getting my body back right now, and if I don't take too much damage, beautiful. Phoenix Palmer. That is not the one I needed, but I will take it. Do I even have a phoenix? Uh, no, that is the only one. A small shield decorated with phoenix. Oh, 90%. Wow. Uh, the sea of flame that swallowed the iron keep took this shield as well, but when it was retrieved, it was mysteriously unscathed. Saved a, save a degree of discoloration. Uh, okay, and now finally, we need to age feather back to the bonfire. Hi, guys.
and get the last item that we need. Thank goodness this didn't result in my death. I'm really, really glad. And not only that, I've already cleared out the uh, the entire room here, so there's pretty much zero chance of me dying. Don't say that. <laughs> Alright, so go over here. I wonder how much damage this lava would do to me. Let's find out. Yeah, it's about the same. Alright, so we can probably get both, but let's be smart. Fire seed. Stay up here for a second. Take a sip. You can also use a radiant, like a couple radiant life gems if you are taking like a really hefty amount of damage. Chaos Storm. There we go. The missing Pyromancy. And we're done. So now, what's left? Ah, yes, all right. Ah, the only problem is this is probably going to take a while because we've got to go talk to an NPC and it's going to take, like, he's just going to talk and talk and talk and talk and talk. But I've got to do it. Um, do, do, do. So we've got to go to... Is it this one or this one? This one here. Four Garden, I think it's called. Near Aldea's Keep. And I have checked this like several times and I'm pretty sure you need to be uh, a hollow in order to proceed so make sure that you're hollow uh, because if you're not it might screw things up okay bear in mind this is necessary for the platinum as well alright so when you go here into this room remember that there was a there was a note that said, uh, well, first there was a note that said, don't you dare to lighting all the flames, but we did that anyway. I'm also going to change my helm. And that one, cool. And then this one said, you know, pull back, pull back, pull back. Uh, the last one say, don't you dare, do not do that. Do not pull that switch. Instead, go to the other side and meet our favorite little fellow well meet this guy this is royal sorcerer navlan we can only talk to him through the uh the blue mist gate so let's hear what he has to say well, you're nicely honored, <laughs> Being tormented by memories. But excuse me that was me sm sneezing <laughs> Alright, now despite what it seems like, uh, just say yes. Is the only person who'd have 
have such an odd knickknack. <laughs> okay, now if you remember, we actually bought that from him, so let's talk to him again. We got the original dispelling ring. Now let's discuss our next mark. I want you to kill one more. Your target will be Kane, the man drafting that man. While I was trapped in here, it touched me, that maniac. Like I was some rare specimen. He wore a strong. Alright, now we also talked to Kale and he gave us our gear, or he gave us his gear once we, like, defeated a whole bunch of bosses in the game, lit all those lights up, so we should be able to hand that in right now too. So we had over 20 intelligence and 20 faith and we got the sunset star from him and his gear. So we've got that item as well. This might be a trophy. No, might be the next one. Forbidden Sun is a pyromancy. Now, don't worry, the feather will stay with us just like all the other items, so let's just talk. Yes. That's the feather. Good. Oh, that is very good. Your reward. Take it. <laughs> Unleash magic. And that's the last sorcery we need. What do you require? Now we can actually buy stuff from him. Go on. Tell me what you need. But I'm not sure if we need anything. Uh, nope. Uh, he's got tons of bonfire aesthetics. Different types of arrows. Thunder Quartz Ring plus two. Moon gear and black witch gear. But we don't need any of it. But yeah, that's... Uh, oh, and we get some more stuff. The chaos set. Alright, that's it. Okay, so... Um, I'm going to end, end the episode. Uh, we have gotten quite far now. There are very few things left for us to do. Namely, the farming. We have to do the farming. 
um, we have to finish the game and then we also have to beat the game on New Game Plus and then we have to get sort of like to Drang Lake Castle uh, in New Game Plus Plus. Now, it seems like that's going to take a long time. It kind of will and it kind of won't. There is like a sort of a tricky way, a trick to doing it a lot quicker, um, which I'll be discussing when we get there. Uh, next episode, we're going to focus on farming. So I'm going to leave it here. Um, I've got a ton of extra souls. I've got to figure out exactly how I'm going to utilize those. I'm pretty sure I can human effigy now. I don't need to be hollow anymore. Um, I may choose to level. I may not. How many? How many three levels from 200? I don't know. We'll see. I'll uh, I'll figure it out in, in the next episode. So I want to thank you all for watching episode 134 of Let's Platinum Dark Souls 2: Scholar of the First Sin. My name is Ultima 456. You're the Ultimates, and I'll see you next time.